Daddy Dad One here with you tonight. Um, wanted to show you this article, and I uh, know this for a fact. I've uh, used it. Um, I found out about this. My cat, um, Mr. Cloud, had something happened to his tail. He either got it caught or something or something. But he evidently broke his tail and had a huge, huge gash going halfway down his tail about, oh, I'd say about four or five inches long, about half of his tail. I mean, it was, I was thinking he was going to have to get it amputated. Um, took him to the vet. And, uh, got a really good vet. Uh, one of the things that he will work with you if you don't have a lot of money. And, um, he said, well, if I do x-rays, it's going to cost this much. He says, I know the tail's broken. And, uh, I said, is there anything you can do for it if it is broken? He said, well, I mean, you know. There's uh, surgery, but that's real expensive. And I said, well, I got about a hundred bucks that I can reasonably spend on my little furry member here. Um, if he can keep his tail, that'd be great. And uh, he asked me if he'd had something to eat. And I said, yeah. And he said, well, we can't. You know, we can't sedate him and then stitch him up and dress his wound because he's eaten and he could aspirate. He said, but what we can do is we can try something called a sugar bandage. And um, I'd never heard of this. I, uh, you know, didn't really know what to think about it. But basically, he took the cat, and they cleaned the wound out real good. What you got to do is clean out the wound good. And he showed me how to do it. Basically, just poured sugar in the wound, and then wrapped it up. And, you know, he said, make sure and change, change the dressing every day. And, uh... You know, let's keep a look on it. He says he's got feeling in his tail because he's reacting when he, you know, reacting to things that he felt down in his tail. So he obviously had feeling still, so it wasn't a total hopeless venture. And uh, anyway... They shaved his tail, and we put the sugar bandage on it, and sure enough, uh, it gotten way, way better. It's almost all the way healed now. Um, one thing you've got to do, though, you've got to make sure and the gauze wet what you do is you put you clean the wound real good pour in the sugar and then put gauze pad over top of the sugar and then wrap the wound or tape it on or whatever and um, it's good for humans too it provides a lot of nutrition and stimulates the wounded area and provides a lot of blood flow and it is also um, good for uh, antiseptic it fights germs um, honey is the same way but you've got to make sure when you go to change the bandage 
make sure and get the gauze wet before you pull it off because it's going to get kind of like a piece of hard candy and if you take that gauze off it's going to it's going to pull meat out with it not meat but it's going to be really painful on the person or the animal very very inexpensive to do um <clears throat> my vet had told me that there was a dog that the lady had brought in and he had a huge open flesh wound and the vet said he thought he had to amputate his leg and he said within a month it was it was almost totally closed up and better but i can i can attest and confirm that it works great um my cat now can he can move his tail some um i have hopes that he'll be able to swish it just like he used to but um anyways i found this some a lot of information without infringing on anyone's rights i uh, got this article here which is okay and it's a good little article it's um from the survival uh, be prepared to survive it says next time you're out camping you cut yourself you might consider grabbing the sugar and pouring it on the wound seriously at our recent um, dirt time event our wilderness medicine instructor suggested you pour sugar into an open wound thought many people Though many people were amazed, others smiled as they remembered it is one of mom's old-time remedies. See, there's a lot of these old-time remedies that are that are just awesome. They work great. And, uh, you know, this knowledge needs to be out there and known. It's actually in the U.S. Army Field Manual also. Um, sugar placed directly on wound and removed thoroughly when it turns into glaze and running substance then reply um, bee honey use it straight or dissolved in water syrup in extreme circumstances some of the same benefit honey and sugar can be realized with any high sugar content item um, but yeah that's bees use an enzyme known as glucose oxid oxidase to make honey glucose oxidase breaks glucose sugar down into hydrogen peroxide making it great antiseptic used to fight germs the amount of hydrogen peroxide it limit is limited occurring where the moisture contacts the honey creating a fine oxidizing layer which literally rusts the germ to death along with the dehydrating them so you know cool you know that's really definitely cool but um yeah i can definitely attest that it works uh let's see here sugar in 1976 her sedges and uh, argentina used ordinary sugar to treat the wounds of two patients with post-surgical neurotic Still it is. Um, in 1980, uh, reported to use sugar paste in 120 infected wounds and recorded a cure rate of 99.2%. It was observed that odor and 
secretion began to dis diminish within 24 hours and disappeared totally after 72 to 96 hours of treatment. I mean, it's it does. It really works good. And, uh, you know, I've seen... I, I've seen what it did to my cat's tail. And believe me, next time I get a good wound, it's going to get some sugar in it along with some hydrogen peroxide and some uh, colloidal silver that I make. Go on my... Check it out. I've got a uh, thing on how to make colloidal silver. It make a generator. Anyhow, there you have it, everybody. Um... The uh, sugar bandage its really, really a good thing to use. And uh, <laughs> make sure don't lick that wound all off after you get it poured on sugar. Hope everyone's doing well. And uh, I hope anybody finds this useful. God bless. Good luck to us all. This is Chatty Dad 1. Over and out.